Hello all, my name is Seth Bauman, I'm 30 years old, I have two children, uh, Elena's the oldest, she's 7 years old, I actually adopted her roughly 4 years ago, and my youngest is Liliana, uh, she'll be 3 at the end of December. Uh, a brief background about myself, I grew up in an abusive home, uh, towards the end of my high school years, I was actually placed in foster care, which helped tremendously. Um, after graduating uh, high school, I moved out and I started working at a Walmart as an automotive technician. For about two years of doing that, I decided I wanted to do something better with my life, so I decided to join the military. Uh, I was in the military for a little over nine months. Uh, it was a lot shorter than I wanted it to be. I actually wanted to make a full career out of it, but uh, apparently strapping 60 to 100 pounds of gear on your back and marching for 20 plus miles puts a lot of strain on your bones and because of that I fractured both of my knees and my ankles. I was in a, a fitness training unit for a little over three months and uh, I wasn't healing as fast enough as they wanted to so they medically discharged me. Uh, I moved back to my hometown after that and I started working at CVS as a pharmacy technician and inventory specialist. I also uh, decided to, to start nursing school because I, I wanted a better paying job and I wanted to help people. Um, I only had one semester to go of nursing school and I would have been an LPN, but I, I really screwed up. I was young and naive and uh, I, was, I was working 60, 70, 80 hours a week because I needed the money and uh, the college I was going to were transitioning from semesters to quarters which screwed up the whole scheduling system. Uh, typically in theory class you would have uh, one test every two weeks but instead we had two tests in three days and working all this all these hours I, I just neglected my, my, my studies and because of that, I barely passed the test, and it knocked my grade down to a, a non-passing score. Uh, I knew I wouldn't have enough time to raise that grade to actually pass the class, and if you fail theory, you fail everything. You have to take the whole semester over again. So I was frustrated, and I dropped out, which is a dumb move on my part, and I continued working at CVS for about another year. Um, I quit CVS eventually due to uh, employee uh, troubles, I, I guess I would say. That's a long story in and of itself, but uh, after that, I worked as an unofficial paralegal at a, a small-time firm here in my town. Um, I say unofficial paralegal because I was doing everything a paralegal would do, but I just didn't go to college for it. I didn't get the, you know, the degree or the certificate or whatever it is. Um, I worked there for a little over a year, but I eventually quit that because of pay, uh, pretty much. I, I loved the job, it was fun, but I just wasn't making enough, I was still struggling. So um, I told the attorney, you know, I, I, you know, I want to quit, I want to go to school, I want to get a better job, and he understood, and that's where I started attending Fremont College uh, for digital marketing. And uh, I graduate in a month, actually, and I pretty excited honestly uh, this this past year has been interesting for me um, I've had you know I just turned 30 and I've had three heart surgeries and I've had my appendix removed and all my wisdom teeth taken out in just this past year so hopefully I mean, everything seems to be better now but hopefully it stays that way because you know I'm only 30 <laughs> Uh, as far as my profession goes, uh, it's, it's been on hold for the past you know, 15 months, roughly, uh, since attending Fremont, because I wanted I wanted to devote 100% of my time to college this time instead of trying to juggle working and, and studying, which can be problematic, especially when you're raising two kids. Um, the nice thing about digital marketing, though, is. <clears throat> There's a lot of job opportunities out there, and there's a wide variety of it. So if I ever get bored with one part, I can go on to something else. And the best part is, I, ideally, I want to work from home. You know, that way I can spend as much time with my kids as possible, especially at these young years. You know, because I want to watch them grow up. Uh, there's there's a high chance in digital marketing that 
I can actually work from home, so that's nice. Uh, what I hope to gain from this course is I want to be able to speak in front of large crowds of people, uh, especially on a professional level, more comfortably. Um, I, I've never been one for speech class, really. Um, I, I just I don't look forward to, to speaking in front of people, but it's part of college, so you have to. <laughs> But uh, it, it's more than that, really. I mean, you have to do that in the real world, too, um, especially in certain fields. Uh, with digital marketing, I'll probably have to speak in front of you know board members and stuff, so I'll have to be comfortable, and I'll have to present it in a way that's uh, pleasant, I guess. Uh, with In conclusion to, to the speech... Um, Basically, just you know, no matter where you come from or what you've been through, uh, try to keep a, a positive outlook on things. You're gonna have highs and lows. The lows are gonna be pretty bad. Um, you might struggle, but you just gotta keep pushing through because eventually it does get better. Uh, for each year that passes by, for me, uh, it, it seems like the next year is even shorter. Uh, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or if it's because I have kids now, but it's definitely you know, time flies. You know that that saying. It's definitely true. But, uh, enjoy the little things in life, you know, and live to the fullest. You know. It'll go by way too fast. Thank you.